Now at 10 o'clock, Houston's mayoral race is already more than a $10 million campaign. And filings from earlier this summer show the big dollar campaigns are raising. Tonight, our investigative team is looking at a set of donations the mayor received. And investigative reporter Ted Oberg has some questions. Houston's Four Seasons Hotel has a pretty pricey breakfast. But the big money on February 16, 2016 had nothing to do with the $19 egg plate. City emails show Mayor Turner was there that morning with the then CEO of Kelsey Siebel, the health clinic's marketing director and their city lobbyist for a breakfast meeting at 8 in the morning. By 9, the meeting was over. Emails from the lobbyist to the mayor's secretary show it went very well. The day went well for the mayor's campaign, too. City records show on that very day, the mayor's campaign reported more than $80,000 in donations from more than 120 Kelsey Siebold doctors and executives. The campaign could have received the checks any time between when Turner was sworn in and when he ate with the Kelsey team. When we looked up all those donors' names in city databases, 87% of them had never given to a city political candidate ever before. It is very, very unusual. Michael Wynn is a former assistant U.S. attorney who prosecuted cases dealing with campaign donations. Wynn now works to defend people accused of breaking those laws. He's not supporting anyone in the current Houston mayoral race. In this instance, the number of people who had never been involved in the political circus whatsoever all of a sudden decide to get involved, um, I, I, I think it's something that demands a little more scrutiny. Letters to nearly 100 of the Kelsey Seabold donors didn't yield answers about why so many decided to give. Follow-up calls to 15 of them and the former CEO didn't either. Four of them flat out hung up on us. The clinic spokesperson said the company wanted to respect their employees' privacy regarding personal donations, but told us... In 2016, a number of Kelsey Seabold employees made personal contributions to the newly elected mayor's campaign. Our employees have the right to donate their personal funds to a candidate charity or cause of their choice. I cannot speak to the process regarding how the campaign staff documents or reports donations. It's more than all those checks, though. It's the timing. On the morning of that breakfast, Mayor Turner was just six weeks into the job. That, that I will faithfully execute. He wouldn't be running again for more than three years, but the city did have a decision to make about its employee health care contract. The city used Cigna at the time, and Cigna used Kelsey Siebold as a provider for many city employees. Cigna's head man in Houston called Kelsey a major partner in city emails. At some point in the mayor's first term, the city had to either ask health insurance companies nationwide to bid on Houston's insurance plan or extend the current contract without any bids. In May, a few months after the Four Seasons breakfast, the city's HR director wrote in an email obtained by 13 Investigates she was working on information to present to the administration as to how he would like for us to proceed. The mayor's office later confirmed on her behalf the he in the email is Mayor Turner. Two months later, the city extended Cigna's contract for two years without asking any other company to bid. City records show it extended the contract for two years to lock in premiums and Cigna's commitment to try and cut costs. Well, I just don't believe in those kind of coincidences. I think anybody just looks at those basic facts, it raises really serious questions. The mayor's current political opponents think the timing of the donations and the deal stink. Did we get the best deal? Did we, are we going to be paying the, the best premiums? Uh, when business is done like that, I think the city loses. You got this extraordinary event of 128 people deciding to get make these really an unusually large contribution in the aggregate, and then it just happens to be months before the contract's renewed. As for any connection with that breakfast months earlier, or the donations from Kelsey Siebold employees reported on the same day, and the contract, the mayor's campaign and city office says there is none. A campaign spokesperson told 13 Investigates Kelsey Siebold would likely have worked with any carrier chosen by the city, and that Mayor Turner takes campaign finance laws seriously and follows both the letter and spirit of the law. The suggestion there is any cause and effect between campaign donations and city contracts is completely untrue, said the spokesperson. It is part of a false narrative driven by political candidates to gain an advantage in their campaigns. In addition to the employee donations to Mayor Turner's campaign, Kelsey Siebold gave a $50,000 donation towards Mayor Turner's inaugural celebration just weeks before that breakfast. 
Two months after the Cigna contract was extended, the mayor's campaign reported a $5,000 donation from Kelsey as well. Cigna, by the way, still has the city's health insurance contract. They won a new one this year, this time with bidding. Ted Oberg, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.